Today's podcast looks at the ballad Lady Maisry and other songs often linked to this ballad, Bonnie Susie Cleland and Mother Mother Make My Bed. A look at the background to the songs, the history of the songs in print and why they are seen as separate songs. I will sing tune samples linked to the songs and finish with a full performance of Lady Maisry. Lady Maisry was a mother's daughter She was her father's heir They sent her to Strawberry Castle To get some deeper lair She hadn't been in Strawberry Castle A year but one day When Maisry she goes big with Ben as any lady gay. Words gone to her mother dear, as she put on her gown. Lady Maisry goes big with child, and it's to some English groom. We'll take off the pot, the pot, and you'll take off the pan. And you build up a good large fire To burn Lady Maisry in Oh no, 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 my mother dear For that would be so cruel And my dear loves her to all the land And he promised to make me his jewel The tune for this version was collected in the 1920s By James Madison Carpenter From Mrs Bell Duncan of Inch in Aberdeenshire in Scotland. Lady Maisry falls in love with an English lord. Her brother, or a footpage, tells her parents, who try to have her give up the English lord or be burnt to death. She refuses to be pressured by her parents, preferring to die. She sends a little footpage to inform the English lord of the situation. The lord mounts his bonny steed to try and rescue her. He arrives as she is burning at the stake. He vows revenge on the family, who will also be burnt, and he'll throw himself on the pyre at the end. The journey of the little footpage is reminiscent of similar journeys in other ballads, such as Lady Musgrave and The Lady of Gite. The song has not been widely collected, and is thought to be a later ballad. It was first printed in Jameson's Popular Songs and Ballads in 1806. The collection... Popular English and Scottish Ballads, edited by Francis James Child and his team at Harvard in the 1880s, has ten sets of words for Lady Maisry, some thought to be reworkings of the version held in Minstrelsy Ancient and Modern, edited by William Motherwell. There are few British examples of tunes linked to the Lady Maisry ballad. One is in Bertrand Bronson's collection Tunes for the English Ballads, printed in the 1950s, and two tunes collected in the 1920s by James Madison Carpenter. The ballad has been collected in North America. Two tunes were collected by Cecil Sharp in 1917 in Kentucky. Here I am, a bonny boy, that'll carry an errand for thee, and who will run to Strawberry Castle and tell thy love of thee? And when he came where the bridge was broken, he bent his bow and swam. And when he came where the green grass grows, he slacked his shoes and ran. And when he came to Strawberry Castle, he called in at the ring. There was none so ready as her true love to open and let him in. Oh, are my castles burnt, he says, or are my lands fallen down, or is Lady Maisry brought to bed with a daughter or a son? Her father's gone to the green wood, her mother's to the broom, and all that they are seeking there is a fire to burn her in. The tune for this version was collected in the 1920s by James Madison Carpenter from Mrs. Alex Campbell of Yatham Wells in Aberdeenshire. Bonnie Susie Clallan follows a similar storyline to Lady Mary, although less detailed. 
The song first appeared in Motherwell's Minstrelsy, Ancient and Modern, in 1827. And of the three sets of words in the Chow collection, two of them are incomplete and all were noted by William Motherwell. It has been suggested that the ballad might possibly be a reworking of Lady Maisry by Motherwell. However, I don't have enough information to add to the argument. Of the two known tunes, the one most frequently heard in folk clubs comes from Motherwell's Minstrelsy. The other was collected in 1904 by Vaughan Williams from Mr Wetherill, who was a tailor at Bourne End in Buckinghamshire, with one verse only, which sets the action in Nottingham. Her father dragged her to the stake. Oh, my love, oh, my love. Her father dragged her to the stake. Oh, my love, so early, her father dragged her to the stake. Her mother then a fire did make. For Barney Susie Cleland was burned in Nottingham Town. There's been some research to see if there's any historical connection in Dundee to the ballad Susie Cleland but no facts have emerged to support this. The 1600s were caught up in the witchcraft scare. This affected both Scotland and England. A number of women were burned for witchcraft in Dundee, none of them named Cleland. There lived a lady in Scotland, Hey my love and oh my joy. There lived a lady in Scotland, Who dearly loved me, there lived a lady in Scotland, she's fallen in love with an English man. And bonny Susie Cleland is to be burned in Dundee. Her father to the daughter came, hey my love and oh my joy. The father to the daughter came, who dearly loved me. The father to the daughter came, saying, will you forsake that English man? And bonny Susie Cleland is to be burned in Dundee. If you will not that English man forsake, hey, my love and oh my joy. If you will not that English man forsake, who dearly loved me, if you will not that English man forsake, oh, I will burn you at the stake. And bonny Susie Cleland is to be burned in Dundee. That tune and words were printed in 1827 in Motherwell's Minstrelsy, Ancient and Modern. In Lady Maisry and in Bonnie Susie Cleland, the ladies are burned because they are pregnant out of wedlock and the father is an English lord. Burning was a punishment for infidelity, but only in extreme cases. Usually the punishment was a fine or some time in the stocks for the first offence. Around the time of Mary Queen of Scots, it was made illegal, for a brief period, for a Scottish citizen to marry an English citizen. None of these seem to relate to Susie Cleland or Lady Maisry, where the problem seems to be related to family prejudices and jealousies. The theme of family disputes caused by jealousy, class, political or religious differences is quite common through folk song and ballads. They reflect attitudes of their time, and these types of disputes continue in our time. Mother Mother Make My Bed was collected widely in the early 1900s in the south of England, and is often named as Lady Maisry. Oh, she called to her little page boy, who was her mother's son. She told him as quickly as he could go, to bring the Lord safe home. Now the first mile he would walk, the second he would run. And when he came to the broken, broken bridge, he would bend his bow and swim. When he came to that castle, 
The Lord was sad to meet. He said, if you knew as much as me, how little you would eat. Is my bower falling, falling down? Or is my tower down? Or is my gay lady put to bed with a daughter or a son? Oh no, your bower's not falling down, nor is your tower down. But we're afraid, before you return, the lady will be dead and gone. The tune for that version of the song was collected in 1906 by Cecil Sharp from Jack Barnard of Bridgewater in Somerset. The song tells of a woman who feels she's about to die. The reason isn't specified. There's no hint of a family feud or any danger from the family. She sends a little foot page to inform her lover of her impending death. Her true love rides to her bedside to kiss her ruby lips. In most versions, the lady dies on Saturday and the lover dies on Sunday. And from the graves spring a rose and a briar which twine together in a true love knot. This motif appears in other popular ballads such as Lord Lovell, Barbara Allen and Lord Thomas and Fair Eleanor. Variations of the song were collected by many of the main collectors in England. The collectors sometimes refer to the song as Lady Maisry. Of the 13 tunes reproduced in Bronson's collection under the Lady Maisry title, eight are versions of Mother Mother Make My Bed. The popularity of the song is shown by how widespread it was collected in the southern counties of England, from East Anglia to Cornwall. Go bridle and saddle, my milk-white steed, the fastest that can run. That I may go and kiss her red ruby lips Before that she turns to clay. Then my lady was buried in the high chancel, My lord was buried in the choir, And out of the lady the grew a damask rose, And out of the lord a sweet briar. Then they grew up so high and so tall, Till they could not grow any higher. Then they turned and they tied a true lover's knot, the rose wrapped round the sweet briar. The tune for this version of the song was collected in 1909 by Vaughan Williams from David Marlowe of Basingstoke, Hampshire. The song appears to be a stripped down version of Lady Maisry. The main action has been abandoned, but no angry relatives, no unwanted pregnancy, no burning of the heroine. The song leaves only the actions common to other popular ballads. The journey of the little foot page, the question and answer by the Lord, the demand for a fast horse appear in Lady Maisry. The song often ends with the true love's not verses, which is not part of the Lady Maisry ballad. To sum up, there's no clear case to link Lady Maisry with Susie Cleland, apart from the theme, although Susie Cleland may be a rewrite of Lady Maisry. Mother, Mother, Make My Bed contains general verses common to Lady Maisry, but the story framework that defines Lady Maisry is missing. I will end this podcast with a full version of Lady Maisry noted from the singing of Mrs Brown of Falkirk in Aberdeenshire in the 1790s and copied down by Joseph Ritson. The young lords of the North Country have all the wooing gone. To win the love of Lady Maisry, but of them she would have none. Hold your tongue, young man, she says, and think no more of me. I've given my love to an English lord, and think no more of me. Her father's kitchy boy heard this, and an ill death may he die. And he has gone to her brother as fast as he could fly. Your father and your mother's well, and all your brothers three. Your sister Lady Maisry's well, so big with child goes she. He has gone to his sister's bower with much stealth and care. And there he saw Lady Maisry combing her yellow hair. 
Oh, whose is that child, he says, that's your so big we? And if you do not tell the truth, this moment you shall die. She turned her right and round about, the comb fell from her hand. A trembling seized her fair body, and her rosy cheeks grew wan. Oh, pardon me, my brother dear, and the truth I'll tell to thee. My child is to Lord William, and he's betrothed to me. Oh, could you not have gotten dukes or lords from your own country, that you should choose an English dog to bring this shame on me? You must give up that English blood the moment your babe is born. For if you keep him an hour longer, your life you shall forborn. I will give up this English lord till my babe is born. But never a day nor hour longer, though my life should be forborn. Where will I get a merry young man to help me in my need? Who will hasten to Lord William and bid him come with speed? How then spake a bonny boy stood by your brother's side? Oh, I would run your errand, lady, all over the world wide. And when he came to broken bridges, he bent his bow and swam. And when he came to the green, green grass, he slacked his shoes and ran. And when he came to Lord William's gate, he did not wait to stop and call, but set his bent bow to his breast and lightly leapt the wall. O oh, are my bridges broken, boy? Or are my towers down? Or is my lady lighter yet Of a dear daughter or a son? There are no buildings broken Or any fallen down But the fairest lady in all the land This day for you must burn. Go saddle me the black, he says, Go saddle me the brown, Go saddle me the swiftest steed That ever rode for town. When he was a mile away, She heard his wild horse sneeze, Mend up the fire, my false brother, It's no up to my knees. And when he lighted at the gate, she heard his bridle ring. Mend up the fire, my false brother, It's far yet from my chin. Mend up the fire to me, she says, Mend up the fire to me, For I see him coming hard and fast, He'll soon mend it up for thee. Oh, if my hands had been loose, so hard as they are bound, I would have turned me from the heat And cast an out your son. Oh, I'll surely burn for you, Maisry, Your father and your mother. Oh, I'll surely burn for you, Maisry, Your sister and your brother. Oh, I'll surely burn for you, Maisry, the chief of all your kin, and the last bonfire that I come to, myself I will cast in.